guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Paper Mario TTYD. In the last part, we came here to Far Outpost with the permission of Gold Bob and General White to fire a cannon to the moon. And in this part, we're going to be firing that cannon, so let us talk to Mr. Russian bob -omb over here. We get ourselves some borscht and some vodka and more Russian stereotypes, and so, cannon is back online. Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. We've done it, old boy! Now you follow me. You come this way. Alright, if you insist. I have not shot this cannon in such a long time. I've not played this game in like a year. But anyways, it's gonna be good. Now you stand here. General White, is big bomb cannon ready? Hup, leave it to me! Now, man, you know the drill. Load the big bomb cannon! Now, positions everyone. Bring guidance system online! Bringing guidance system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Oh god. Open inner shutter. Elevate on my mark. Uh, excessive much? I think that cannon's compensating for something. Sighting, target is a moon. Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 54.66. Range, 389603. Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Close chamber hatch. Conditions all green. Stand by, okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire! It's Super Mario Galaxy all over again. Ask. Good luck, Mario. Huh. Well, that was rather a bumpy trip, what what? Who would have guessed I'd do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon by Crabbery. But how the hell are we breathing? So, what say you? Shall we find that last crystal star and save Pinch, huh? Yeah. Yep, we shall. 
And here we are, the moon without any oxygen. Because screw logic. You can blow these rocks up with Bobbery, and for some reason I'm having trouble with that. I really hate the moon because of how bad the physics are here. I want that Inkoom on, actually. So just throw that stopwatch back away. You can't blow up all the rocks, I don't think. But whatever. And I'm just gonna pull out Piccolo so we can run at a okay pace. Although, if I see any enemies, I'm totally switching back to Bobbery. Because the enemies here are kind of tough, and they're good to take care of with Bobbery. I never really explore the moon, and I figure there's tons of secrets and star pieces around here. But I never bother for it, because I just really don't like this place. The area after this moon, though, I gotta love it. I gotta love it. Mainly because of music, but... I'll fight that cleft in a second. In fact, let's just jump out of here with Bobbery, and... Let's ground down on him. Everything's so floaty! And that guy can actually run. Jeez. Anyways. Battling is normal, thank god. Alright, well. Good tip for these guys is to flip them over, which you can do, but... For now, I'm just gonna hammer him, because that should kill him. These are one of the few enemies in the game I do not actually want to jump on. But anyways, if you bomb these guys, I do believe it flips them over. Yep. Flips them over, makes them weak. Quite helpful. And then you can jump on them, and they have no defense. So pretty much just kill them while they're over. We are getting really close here to the end, folks. We only got one more chapter after this, and there is a secret optional boss at the bottom of the pit of a hundred trials that we're going to be taking care of. I really don't want a Volt Shroom, especially because I have Zap Tap on. But, uh, yeah, we should be getting to that awfully soon here. Oh, that didn't work too well. I was trying to reverse, but then I remembered I have Zap Tap on. Uh, I'll blow up the first guy, why not? Mario's health is kind of low. But I think when we reach the end of the moon, to the area that we need to go to, I'm pretty sure there's a refresh block in there. I could be wrong. There you go, Bobbery. Nicely done. I think Bobbery's gonna take a lot of damage if he actually gets hit. But I'm great with action commands. Clefts aren't that bad. Let's see if we can hit that. Uh, it would just give me pride if I hit that. I actually hit Bingo in the last episode. Too bad I was speeding up. So now I have hit Bingo twice in this LP. Oh, that was a really stupid idea of me. But whatever. This guy should be dying with this jump. And I don't think Bobby is anywhere close to danger, so... These are the last good people to get star points on that you don't actually have to stress to get to. So I suggest grinding on them if you want to. I don't think I really need to that much, but... I might go back and fight some of these guys. I don't really know. I don't like the moon. I don't like the physics clefts are kind of annoying. I don't know. I just don't really like the moon. Plus the music isn't that memorable here, it's just really trippy. One of the few songs in the game that I don't actually remember is a moon song, but it's not really a song as much as just random ambient noises, but whatever, I digress. Oh, please get out of the way, Piccolo. I don't want to get hit by that guy. That big rock out there looks awfully suspicious, let's go check it out. I have a feeling that there's a random star bit out there. Star bit? Yeah, there's a star bit out there, we'll play Mario Galaxy. Ah, I thought there was going to be a star piece in there. Guess not. Well, let's just run on over to the next screen. Hopefully I don't get hit on Piccolo. Oh yeah, that's right, there's black yuxes out, yuxes out here as well. And these guys aren't as annoying as Clefs, I don't think. In my opinion. We'll go fight him. Hopefully dodging him so I can actually hit him. Ah, oh, yes, this is the screen we need to get to, too. Which would explain the yuxes. Because somebody was on the moon that we should take care of. I mean, there's got to be a boss in Shepard. And, uh, the Yux has got to work for somebody. I guess he can't bomb a Yux. So that's kind of weird. Oh, well, I'll defend. Although it's most likely going to hit Mario. Yeah, great defense. Okay, well. First things first, let's switch out partners really quick to Vivian, because she can actually attack that guy. And then I'll just jump on this guy for whatever reason. Make my life easier. I'll just have Vivian take the hit for me. Sorry about that, Vivian. 
Now, could you punch that guy for me? Thanks about that. Thanks for that. About that? What is English? I don't even know. Subject verb agreement. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. Aliens, I tell ya. Wow. He dropped a lot of XP. Star points. Alright, let's just go ahead and grab this. There's the star piece I thought was on the moon. There it is. Aw, oh, man, I didn't want to fight this guy with Vivian, but whatever, I can deal with it. B button didn't work. Okay. Well, first things first, let's take care of the x yucks Because that seems like a good idea. Since he puts up a defense. And then I guess I'll just punch this guy and hope that it works. I don't know if he has enough defense. One damage ain't bad. I wonder, if I just defend? Ah, yeah, that works too. So I don't need to press the B button. Everything's good. Oh, that's right, I have to hammer him. Completely forgot. My bad. I'm stupid. Forgive me. He has, like, five defense. But that breaks it. Which is good. Alright, let's just hammer him to death. Smash his skull in! Or not. That was bad. Oh god, what? <laughs> Giant forks. Somebody... I just lost my train of thought on what I was going to say. Oh, giants were having dinner upstairs. Yeah, it's not funny. Really bad pause. Ignore that. Ignore... Oh, Jesus, I got hit again. Alright, well, these guys shouldn't be that big of a deal as of now. Now we've got Vivian on our side. Because I guess she is better on dealing with these guys than Bobbery is. Maybe not the clefts, but... The Yuxes. Vivian is a pro at. Alright, let's remember to hammer this guy this time. Gotta say Marember. Marember will remember. I don't know what English is still. I- what? I totally hit that button. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Anyways, let's just dodge out of the way here, get ourselves some money. That we're probably gonna spend on nothing in the future. And then jump on this guy. Kill him immediately. It's hilarious to see him glitching through the floor. Anyways, this is the last of the enemies on the moon, thank god. Well, last of the enemies on the surface of the moon itself, because of course there's going to be a second section in this place. Oh, there's always a second section in these chapters. I think you can keep going to the right if you really want to. I'm not sure if there's anything over there. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments and tell me that there's something awesome over there. But I really don't care. You hear that, Bar? I don't care. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna take the power punch. I'm gonna take the power punch for later. Uh, Mini Mr. Mini, I don't really care about. Oh, I'm gonna regret that later, I think. Alright, but there's a giant rock over there that can be blown up. So, might as well blow it up. And get ourselves off the moon, because Jesus Christ, I'm not having fun times on the moon. Alright, let's go down this pipe. I'm not sure if everything switched back to normal when you go to the background, but apparently not. Whoa, everything's floaty. It's like I'm playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all you Brawl fans. Yeah, there's floaty controls. What do you want? So there's not a star piece over there, I don't think. There could be, but I don't really care. I'm not going for 100% of the star pieces because I really don't care. There's not a whole bunch of good badges that I want. I think you can actually jump over this entire dome. The entire level we're about to be in, you can jump over. Which would be hilarious, but we can go inside this place. And now we have arrived in... a suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? So do be careful. We're in question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, somebody who has a building on the moon. Yeah, seems pretty normal. I don't know about you. But seems pretty average to me. Who's that dude? Whoa! That's Mario. So let's get him? Hmm. Black X-Nuts. I wonder where we could be. But we'll find out in a couple seconds. Anyways, these guys are elite X-Nuts. I think they have more potions, and that's their real catch. Then they have one defense. But these guys aren't that big of a deal. In fact, they're pretty much the basic enemy of the area. 
I mean, we're gonna see all the different types of Exynos we saw in Peach's story, but... Still, they're not that big of a deal. Exynos aren't that hard to fight. Not to mention, their the animations are super weird. Mario, a boy, since these Exynauts ruffians are about. Yes, I'm quite sure of it. The Crystal Star must be here as well. Our dear Peach must be here too, wouldn't you say? Let's find her own boy. And here we are, the Exynaut Fortress with, like, the best level theme in the entire game. I love it! It's all techno y and awesome and. Ah, uh, it's awesome. It just gets you pumped. Actually, this seems like a good stopping point. Now that I think about it. So, in the next part, we will venture through the first part of the Exynaut Fortress and continue listening to this awesome theme. See you guys then.